Big collisions are a big part of football, but those hits have taken a toll on the sport, especially in Southern California, where the number of kids signing up to play the sport has been gradually decreasing. Growing concern about head injuries and player safety are considered to be the main reasons for this decline. Former NFL linebacker Joey LaRock saw firsthand the need to address this void in player safety when coaching at a local high school. Saw two kids collide. One dude had about 14 stitches above his brow line. Thought to myself, this is crazy. And basically that's when I started the industry. The industry that he developed turned into Rock Solid, a company that designs and sells soft shell helmets for players to use. It's designed to protect and practice where a majority of head related injuries occur. So essentially what we've done is we've protected those vulnerable areas. The brow line stitches, the orbital bone, the temple, and then the back of the head. It's all been reinforced padding in those vulnerable areas. The market for these soft shell helmets is growing with several high schools in Southern California and colleges nationwide using either the RS1 helmets or the also popular guardian caps. One school that has fully implemented this technology is Orange Lutheran High School in Orange County, California, who use the Guardian Caps for all levels of their football team. The Lancers have used them since 2012, and players and coaches have noticed the difference they make. We wear the Guardian Caps during practice, and I feel very confident that we have fewer uh, head-related injuries in practice than, than we ever had prior to wearing the Guardian Cap. I had a concussion freshman year, and it was during a game, and I haven't had them since, I mean, during practice or anything, because I think of the Guardians, I think that's helped a lot. Head coach Chuck Peterson also says that among coaches, the awareness of how head injuries are treated has changed dramatically. We're much more aware of uh, what's going on in that realm. 25 years ago, you know, when you got dinged, quote, Basically, as long as you weren't seeing stars, they'd throw you back out there. The benefits are there, but two factors can hold back some schools from using them. A single helmet can cost anywhere from $60 to $65, and equipping a whole team where budgets are limited can be a tough sell for schools. The other reason? Looks. At first, um, I didn't know what to think of it. I thought it was kind of weird. Uh, they kind of make you look like a bobblehead a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that was the first time I've ever even heard about them. And I saw them, I was like, you know, it kind of looks like a space helmet. It looked kind of, you know, different than I've, what I've seen. While the new technology has some work to do cosmetically, the top priority is still protecting the players. As a dad and as a uh, human being, I feel a real obligation to do everything humanly possible to help protect our, our players. You know, I played in the game, I played it to the game's highest level. I have more reward and satisfaction knowing I'm doing something to preserve the game than playing the game, so it's pretty exciting. For Cronkite News, this is Antonio Venegas reporting from the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.